Hello, welcome again to Roll Initiative. My name is Dave. I'm the DM for a group of friends get together to play Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, guys, we're gonna jump right into the recap this week. Um, last session, you guys made it outside of the port uh, with the help of Agatha, uh, ending up in this swamp that seemed to run for a very long time. You saw different creatures there, dogs, hairless, that would disappear, reappear uh, throughout the swamp. You also found you were being trailed by four Lords of Alliance guards. Um, initially, Leah tried to use a stinking cloud, I believe it was, to ward them off, which helped you guys gain some um, distance with them, but they managed to catch up. Uh, two of them coming out of this fog uh, basically gave you the threat that you come back peacefully or you will come back dead. The other two showed up. Uh, Rufus then, without any other choice, fired upon these soldiers, instantly killing two of them. Uh, the rest of you managed to pick them off without being touched. Uh, afterwards, Rowan, you came up with a plan to chop these bodies up, uh, possibly to keep the Lords of Alliance from discovering them. Um, before you did this, you managed to uh, get some weapons, some gold, and three badges um, from these guards. You proceeded to chop their bodies up. And as you began to bury them in this soft soil, you felt tremors. Uh, this started to happen. Uh, these very large, worm-like creatures um, erupted from the ground, attacking you guys. Uh, you fought back. Um, Rowan, Kari, you took the worst of the brunt. Um, by being taken over by this acid that just ate at your armor, uh, causing an issue now for the rest of the travels uh, with that. Um, you guys managed to defeat these worms, uh, finding that you just swamped now, was sitting in more of a ravine. Uh, you attempted to climb this 75-foot high wall of dirt. Um, finally, Rufus, you did make it up there successfully. Uh, upon trying to tie this rope to a tree, you discovered this very large beast, uh, very similar to what you saw racing. Um, except this one different, flesh rotting, dropping off it as it charged you. Getting it in its grasp, you both fell over this ravine. Um, you managed to get out of its grip and fly upwards with your uh, bat cape that you do have. Uh, this creature continued to fall um, as Kari created a wind wall, pushing it away from falling on top of all of you. Um, this beast got up, charged. Leah, you jumped on its back and... Um, Managed to hold on for duration, repeatedly stabbing it with the Defender, finally taking it down. Um, you guys made your way out of this swamp um, to a clearing where you saw a good 100 foot bridge that went across. Uh, below you, 100 foot drop. Uh, you also saw monkeys hanging in the bottom of this bridge. Statues and real ones. Um, you guys rested, and as you awoke, they began to laugh. In the center of this bridge sits a very large stone statue. And without further ado, let's run the intro.
Okay, so uh, we picked up from where you guys are now rested. Uh, this bridge lays roughly about 30 to 40 feet ahead of you at this point. Uh, again, like I said, you see this. Uh, from your vantage point, you can't make out the details, but this large uh, stone statue that stands in the center. And again, the monkeys. Uh, even from 30 feet away, you can hear them begin to laugh. Um, and laugh. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Can we put in some earplugs? Yes. Do so you want to make stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you guys had them in before, but I'm assuming by this point they were gone. So, yeah, you can put new ones. Yeah, when well, we don't hear them, we'll take them out. But Oh, we can mm-hmm. use, yeah, our little earpieces and, like, have, like, a counteracting noise to whatever the, uh, the monkey's noise. Is this... Leah could sing a nice like, like a noise-canceling kind of thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Actually. Yeah. Is the bridge all stone, or is it wooden stone? Stone. Excellent. Awesome. Do you want to attempt that? Yeah, I want to attempt that. Oh, that'd be uh, Leah to attempt to make a noise thing that goes kind of helps. Uh, okay. So do you want me to do like a performance? Like a uh, what I want you to do is you're going to take out your loot. Mm-hmm. And to make this work, all I'm going to ask you to do is the low strings. Hold them and continually boom. Boom. So you will be holding your loot up to the point where you, if you have to do something else, but right now you are, boom, and it's caused enough of a resonance to your ear pieces to give you advantage on any kind of throw you may have to make against these monkeys. Okay, cool. Okay, well, so you're just, do, do. at times it gets annoying you guys because it's just constant uh, reverberation of this note, but it is working. All right, you guys can make your way closer to the bridge. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put you right where you are now, um, where you guys are standing there. Mm-hmm. As you look at this bridge, you immediately see these symbolic mazes um, that are carved uh, really throughout the whole bridge. All the flooring, um, parts of them are hidden under moss and overgrowth, but you can you definitely see things carved into it uh, that appear to be mazes. I'm going to cast a tech magic. Okay. Um, casting it on the bridge itself, the whole bridge. Uh, it's, it, I sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of me. Okay. Obviously, I know my friends are going to have magical crap. I'm looking at the bridge. She wants to maybe see if there's a path. From your vantage point right now, um, you don't feel any magic. Right. Can I do an investigation check for, like, a pattern in the tiles? Actually, give me a religion check on that one. Oh, can I help with that? Mm-hmm. That will give him two 20s, unless you want to roll it for him, or how do no, you guys want to do No, I'll give you advantage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 12. 12. Um... You kind of get up and examine one. Um, you can see this moss, and again, you see it a maze. Um, the maze. Uh, somewhere in your mind, you feel like this was like a, a god that by the name of um, Ubato, but that's all you know. <clears throat> you don't really understand the relevance of these mazes, though. But it is connected somehow to that. Is it a maze like we have to solve it like a puzzle? Is that kind of maze? Figure that out. Are you right now? You're kind of standing above these, looking at them. Are you? Do you want to attempt to touch them, feel them, look at it that way, or? Because, like I said, they're partially covered with moss overgrowth on it, so you can just see parts of it. Like then there's some moss, and you see maybe another part of this maze down here. It's not clear to me. All right. Uh, I think I'll just take a step back and okay. see what my well, friends think. I think I'm looking at you kind of scratching your head, maybe trying to assess the situation. Everyone's kind of being cautious. Is there a, is there a rock? Just a small rock? Uh, oh, here, I'll hand you one of my... Mm-hmm. You can toss it roll it along this just to kind of check for any... Traps? Non-obvious traps. traps. How far do you want to roll it? I don't know. As, as far as I can roll a rock. Uh, somewhere in this... It's not a it's straight round, bowling ball um, rock, but it's... It's like my little marbles that I carry. Okay. My shot. Okay, I'll probably Something with a little bit of weight. 
Uh, they've got, I believe, a 30 foot. Okay. Sling. So you roll it. It makes right to about here. Doesn't seem to happen with that. Okay. And these monkeys are underneath the bridge? Mm-hmm. Right now they're just kind of all watching. You can see them mixed in with these statues okay. that are, are mounted underneath this bridge. As you kind of peek down, Let's you see do the thing. them in between. I'm going to cast Conjure Animals. All right. Sorry. Uh, I, I just want to cast Conjure Animals mm -hmm. and send... Do the panthers again. Yeah, let's do the panthers again. I probably have the best in the dexterity. Okay, where did I write down the panthers? Probably not. They're in my book. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Contrary animals, eight panthers. Mm -hmm. Have seven of them stay back with us, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send one walking out across. Okay. What are you signing to? Uh, straight ahead, right down the middle. Okay, up to what point? Now um, the statue kind of stands there in the middle of it. It's got a 30, we'll, we'll call it a 30, we'll send it 30 feet. Okay. Again, nothing happens. Nothing. Yes. No. Um, from your vantage point now, you also see this uh, statue. It looks like a warrior of some type, bent down in a crouching manner helmet. Um, you also notice its eyes uh, seem to glow. Um, from your vantage point, you can't tell whether uh, this would be magic or if these are gems of some sort in its eyes. The kind of leaning down in a stance. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna way up high, fly to the middle and just see what happens. And what's there? So you want to be about right here with it? Mm -hmm. or, no. What, what is this right here? Like and a statue. statue. Look at the statue. I'll just fly by the statue. Tell us if you can read anything, if there's any inscriptions. Yes. Yeah. All right. So you get right up on it. Mm -hmm. What do you see there, little one? Um, clearly it's wearing some kind of warrior's outfit. Like I said, a uh, war helmet it's wearing. Its eyes are two, what appear to be two gems. Um, very... Red oh, and gems. No, but and its eyes. Um, it Don't touch those gems. Yeah, this one's on a bridge. Give me a detect magic. Are We're you focused? Okay. Arcana? No, yeah, Arcana all travels. Y'all ever seen a statue on a bridge? Yeah. That's my first. In the middle? Seems a very odd placement yeah. for such a heavy thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're trying to move mm -hmm. anything across the bridge, it's going to get Close hung up by that. Uh, 21. Ah, 21? Now being so right on this thing, people across it. It. Yeah. you do sense something about it's magical. Hey you also kind of look downward, and you see what appears to be a humanoid skeleton that's kind of laying in front of this thing. Um, parts of it kind of broken off, kind of smashed looking, kind of laying at the foot of this statue. Hey guys, the really... statue's uh, magic? Well, you sense some kind of magic here. So I think. Mm. Uh, oh, there's a skeleton over there. Oh, Does it tingle in a good way or a bad way? <laughs> a panther can what kind of vibe another you 50 off feet. That. I don't know yet. Mm -hmm. Will this get it to the statue? Yep. All right. I'm gonna ask if that one to move forward all the way to the statue. Stand right on a yep. right next. Pause right up. It, on the statue. Yep. <laughs> in a sniffy, nosy kitty. Okay. So as this panther <laughs> lays its paws yeah. on this thing, it begins to move, uh -oh. Oh, no. and you see oh. this stone statue begin to move, looks down at your panther, takes his foot, stomps it. Yeah, I figured that one. So... 21 to hit, yes. Yeah, well, yeah. It's going to take... It's gone. Oh, yeah. Damage. Okay, it's yeah. going to take... It's gone. crushing foot damage right. of a giant okay. stone. It's just you guys watch as it just it stands there and it kind of looks up at you now. You're kind of flying because right I of. saw that happen. I'll just fly upwards more. It's a little higher. Uh, we'll put you back, back flipping now. We'll like put you the... back and down a little bit. Yeah. You see this thing now, kind of lumber, just looking at you as it begins to step towards your direction. 
zip it on out of there. What you guys want to do? Because I'm going to call initiative if we're going into battle. I'm going to... I think we are. Go. You can get situated. That way. I'm going to go... Over him. Over him. Oh, open okay. over. Smart open, open over. All right. As, wait, as it's doing it, it looks up at you, it tops the leap up and hits you. And it has a 10 oh, foot reach, and it can jump upwards pretty high, so we'll just call that 18 to hit. Mm, sadly, yes. So it just swaps you. Oh. And you take. Don't because I'll do shield. Okay. All right. So and that I had a plus five to the seventeen, so then I was. As it five. jumps up, swaps you. You think you put the shield in front of you, but just the force of this thing causes no damage, but actually does. You make it right to about there as it just pushes you back. Okay. And your energy is protecting you, but it's just the force of this creature. Yeah. So initiative, everybody. Don't get roll the dice. What I get? A two. I'm last. Two. I'll ask for one in a second here. That's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh, That's a dumb idea to try to bounce off that. Me. 20 to 25? 20. See? Perks of my last level up. An additional plus two to initiative. Nice. Uh, 15 to 20. 18? Oh, 21. 21? Okay. I have any idea what to do with this game. Uh, So 15 to 20? That was it? 18? Okay, 10 to 15. 5 to 10. I already know it's yours. 7. Oh, wait, no, no. I'm not 5 to 10. I'm 0 to 5. Right. Zero to five. At this point, we know what's going on. Okay, so. <laughs> Brutal DM. Rufus, as you see this uh, <laughs> this large stone creature, I mean, it just like, just starts looking towards you. What you want to do? Uh, while I'm getting my gun ready, kind of like stalling for time, I'm just going to start shouting at him. Does he respond to language? If I asked him, like... What is it that you need for us to pass? Like, you shall not pass. <laughs> it kind of stops for a moment. He probably didn't. Speak. Can we park? It kind of looks at you, but says nothing. Okay, that's what, what is I he protecting? That's what I figured. Oh, the other side. What is he protecting? Hmm. Okay, it's just him. Just looking back here. Just throw a grit on it. For sure. Okay. So I'm gonna use the musket from mm-hmm. back where I'm at, I think. Yeah, 200 feet. That should be fine from back You're there, fine. right? Yep. Okay. So give me that attack. That's 21. 21 does hit. 21 does hit. Give me the damage. So you aim, fire off, as it catches the top of his shoulder, and just blows a piece of stone off. Completely off, so now the shoulder, area where it's built, just doesn't seem to hurt his functionality, still keeps moving. Okay. Um, um, I'll go ahead and put the musket away and pull out the pistol. Okay. Take another shot at him. Okay. That is 18. 18 hits. 18 hits. Fourteen. Fourteen more. Damn, so you fired again. This time the pistol doing a little small thing, kind of pierces all the way through it. You can see it blow some dust in the front, not behind it. That's just goes completely through. I'm not sure I can get the idea from the map. Is there a way to walk down below the bridge right now? Nope. That's exactly what it is right there. So it's a sheer That's a small can, can pitch you use right there. Spider-Man? Oh, this right here. Yep. Okay, I see it now. What about uh-huh. your Spider-Man, man? Oh, I could walk down this, but yeah, it's too far down. I thought it was just kind of closer. And I'll stay where I'm at. I'm good. That's fine. Okay. Monkey's hanging on the bottom, too. So, yeah, you're up. Uh, All right. I'm going to go and head and cast blindness. 
Can I do that? You can do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Cassie. All right, yeah, you can blind or deafen a foe. Choose one creature that you can see within range to make a constitution saving throw. If it fails, the target is either blind or deafened. Your choice. Which one are you going with? Uh, blind. Twelve. What's your constitution? Your spell What's your spell save? Thirteen. So, you kind of stand back, hold your hand up, and turn it just a little bit as you see the creature go. But you can't, you can't see what's going on. He's okay. moving his head, kind of puts his arm forward to kind of reach. Kind of like a typical Frankenstein movie. Yeah, yeah, you don't know where he's at. Okay, so that you want to stay where you're at? Yep. Okay. Oriana, what do you want to do? And you also see this effect. First of all, you see the effects from Rufus's firing, then you see him kind of staggering. Like he has no yeah, to the bard to bring into comedy to the battle right off the get go. <laughs> that. I want to cast Blur on myself and fly over him and just hover over this area. Well, he's blind. He's yeah. blind anyway. So so you got a double advantage. advantage. Or I just want to, that, that's what I want to do. Okay, that's so boom, you're Blur. Go more. You can get right about here. Almost get to the other side. Okay. okay. Away from him. Yeah. <laughs> so you're at its back now. Um, okay. This is going to be just it's here. blind and I know. I know what that does to me. <laughs> I just got to think how to handle Spiral because he's blind walking on a bridge. Okay. <laughs> Did you feel the urge to talk? No, too bad You're still willing fall. to negotiate. Just saying. If you say, again, he kind of follows where the voice comes from, but he seems unable bridge. to speak. He's blind. Um, oh no, that's my other character. Never mind. Okay, so you watch as this thing for a moment, walks and kind of bumps his small uh, lines on each side of the bridge and breaks it away as he kind of stumbles and gets his footing and attempts to move forward. Um, yeah, aimlessly swinging, but that's that's his turn. All right, but he's, he's kind of damaging the bridge. He broke off uh, the uh, side that would be to the rail almost of this, this bridge, okay. broke a piece of it off. Large enough for his leg to kind of just One goes. of these little, like, pillar pieces? Mm-hmm. Knock it off into the river? Yeah. Now, all of a sudden you hear this laughing starting. Oh, shit. Laughing, 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 laughing. Um, you cast spell solves, give you the fact you're still just hitting no strings on the loot, so I need real quick wisdom saving throws from everybody at advantage. So it's 220s, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And if you're, yeah. If you have a proficiency in your wisdom saving throw, you need to tap. Uh, Natural 20. 16? Uh, 15. 14. Yeah. Wisdom save. Yep. 14 plus 4. 20. You're good. 18. So you all manage to shake this laughter off. It's, it's not stopping, um, but you all don't seem to be affected by it at this point. So, it is now card. What do you want to do? Um, well, I'm going to send the seven remaining panthers to swarm this big stone thing. Okay. Um, so, there's going to be like two, 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 and one kind of all running yep. down the bridge at him. Okay. Um, <laughs> How do you want to roll? Do you want to roll them all as one attack? Do you want to attack? Or you, I'll do what? one attack as a group. Okay. okay. Just try to Give me a roll. Go for his feet or something. Trip him up. It should be a, just a giant push off of the edge. Oh, like I'll jump up on it. I don't know. What are they? They're panthers. You watch, you they're just yes. weighed 200 plus pounds. <laughs> There's a, that's a, I don't know. That'd be so it's not out. much of a strength saving throw, but it's worth it's a shot. He is. That's what I mean. So they so. don't know. I can do a pounce attack, as long as they run at least 20 feet straight ahead. Yep. And you want them all to pounce on them. Yep. Yeah. To knock them down the bit. Uh, so you do a, a DC 12 strength throw, which you'll probably pass. Okay. DC but 12? at least I finish with a claw attack. Natural 20. Yeah. Nice. That's fine. So, um, but they do all pounce them, correct? Yeah. So they're right on him now. Right. And that's a okay. 14 to hit. 
with the claw attack. Fourteen misses. Alright, no, that's fine. So you watch it, they all kind of jump on him? all hanging on to him. They're hanging on him, but he's just kind of trying to try to toss him off. In fact, I need a strength check. You can do them all as a group, okay. or you can do it. Do them all as one. Yeah, all as a group. Mm, five. <laughs> all as one. Five. five. Yeah. So you guys, from your vantage point, he just starts shaking his body just uh, fiercely back and forth as you watch a panther fall off the bridge. Another one fall off the bridge. Another one, so they just all go over the side of the bridge. Are they all gone? All gone. Mm-hmm. All right. But <laughs> as he's shaking, no, he watches not. again. He <laughs> hits another. It's another one of these pillars. It knocks it completely over as he's still standing. Okay. Is that your uh, turn? N- that's their turn. turn. Okay. Now it's my turn. Um. He's blind. He's rolling around, or he's not prone. Um, got 30 foot of movement. Doesn't get me very far. I just want to... Well, you guys are all kind of standing on the edge of us, so you can make it to us. Nine, ten, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Okay. Let's just get up on him and take a swing. I'm going to use three charges of the staff of striking. Okay. Give me a roll. Excuse me. Yeah, 22. That hits. Give me a damage. Uh, so 1d6 plus 3 charges is 1d6 per charge, so an extra 3d6 when I'm done. So 4 plus 8, 10, 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 total. Nice. So, as you take this, you hit right above the knee as it's height, because you're tall enough to kind of, yeah. you hit him, you see it puts a little crap in the stone goes across as you make okay. this impact on him. Uh, he does, body naturally kind of turns down, but not really aware of exactly where you're at. That's fine. Okay, Ron, what do you want to do? All right, uh, I think I just want to move a little bit out, and then I have a grappling hook. I just want to kind of like try to throw it across the bridge in front of him, so that if he keeps moving forward, he trips over it. Okay, if you want, you can get right next to Kari and just start. He doesn't know you're there, so. Yeah, so just kind of just, yeah. just kind of set it up across the bridge as a as a trip. Just give me a quick uh, uh, yes. dex, mm-hmm. like an attack almost. Yeah. Just give me a dex throw. Uh, and you can proficient. I'll, I'll give you a proficiency. Huh? Eighteen plus five. Five. five is twenty-three. So you whip it aside, wraps around one of the pillars that are still remaining there. And now you're just kind of holding on to it right there. You want to try to, so you're holding it or try to I'll tie just it? just tie it. Okay, uh, part of the pillar is still standing. It's a little weak, but you managed to tie it around there. So now, okay. yes, there's a line going across. And then I just think I would just like to retreat. Okay. So now this rope is between the both of you. Before you walk away, you're supposed to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's so. tight. Pop around. Rufus, you see what's going on too now. This this rope that's across. The bridge now, right in front of this beast this between him and Kari. Okay, let's we'll shoot at him. Okay, um, hmm. yeah, I know I don't want it. No, oh, no, I don't have that much. Money. No, I'm good where I'm at. Okay, um, so let's just finish the pistol for now. Okay, or no, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use one action to reload the musket. Okay. And then I'll use the other one to shoot. So I'm okay. going to shoot that one and I'm going to... So boom, when your attack's reloading. Uh, and okay. 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 No, 13. 13 uh, does, unfortunately. <laughs> this is right behind. All right. So that's, that's good. I will... I'll come to like the very foot of the bridge now, just to maybe start moving a little bit closer. Okay. Okay, Leah, you are up. Are you allowed to use this spell and twice? Currently, and you're too close because if he falls forward, he's gonna fall on top of you. Okay. Maybe you guys don't want to do it. It's fun. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to yell at him 
Yoo-hoo, we're over here! Okay. Because he's gonna have to, he's gonna come towards the noise. So he he's walks blind. straight at you. When he hits this rope. Can, the rope my difficulty class just for my dex. Well, let's see what happens with this. Alright. Maybe he'll do. Oh! Just so everybody knows, I show my roll critical, I gotta show my roll a natural one. Oh, <laughs> so this creature walks to, just hits the rope. As if one that Maybe it falls was off tied the side loosely of the to his pillar, yeah. kind of snaps free, but as he moves, it kind of wraps itself around him as he begins to go. Zoom. Zoom. I need you to save me, throw for me. Okay. As you see this thing you now, kind of I'll give you inspiration. coming towards you. Oh, thank you. What's uh, D8? Yep. All right. I'm really glad you did. A uh, total of ten. Total of ten. Okay, so as this creature oh, falls, you almost manage to get out of there. Right. <laughs> no, it's fine. As yeah. half your body does, as yeah. the other part gets you from almost like the waist down, crumbled down, right down on you. Pancake. Oh. I didn't want to get first. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. Straight kill him. 14 points of bludgeoning damage. As this thing just, and as you're trying to, now it is prone. So are you. Part of its body, kind of like hanging off this pillar. As it's on top of you, you're kind of stuck underneath it. As you can see, this pillar, the other grapple hook is hooked to, it's starting to create, it's starting to snap from the tension of this thing. And it's, he's getting pulled slightly as you're underneath him, too. So like the, he's gonna fall over the edge. Okay, so that you still can do something. Can do something. So situation. he is made of stone, correct? Yes, he is. Uh, yep. Transmute this motherfucker. Turn him into water. I'm gonna go up to him and use my flail mm-hmm. and just like hit him with it, okay. like right in the head. Smash him. Try to smash his head. Okay. Give me an attack. Uh. Natural one. Yeah. Uh, okay. So <laughs> you wait, wait, wait. he's prone, right? That sucks. Uh huh. Oh, you have advantage on it. That can you do? I would think roll. you should. Okay, so you get one more twenty to roll. You get one more twenty to roll. Well, you can't be lower than one. Roll the one, so it's kind of terrible. We're going twenty. Uh-huh. Three. Three. You kind of swing down. It was almost a 17, almost. but then it rolled backwards. Okay. You swing down, like and chest. he just kind of, just because of this thing started to pull him, you just, this flail comes down into the bridge, but it does miss him. Okay. okay. Um, as this flail hits onto this bridge and hits one of these these mazes that uh, we're already dealing with the oh boy. thing, wow. you, and it gets stuck in there. As you see this almost yellowish, burnish energy starts laying out this maze. And now you guys all look across the bridge as you're seeing them. All these things start to light up and burning this moss away. And you're seeing this huge, almost puzzle that's going across this bridge. Okay. Um, you technically have one more attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and... Is my flail stuck? Can you, I pull it out? You, you, you rip it out of All right, let's go ahead and try it again. Okay. With an advantage? With an advantage? Yeah, because you get the same as on the ground stuff. Yeah, because he's still prone, right? Mm-hmm. Nine. You missed again, except this time you shatter one of these stones, which immediately you feel the bridge shake slightly. Yeah, it's just energy's coming more and more through. You can see where it's starting to deteriorate. You have till this is empty to get to the other side. Uh, so, um, it's turn. No. no. Oriana. Oriana, what do you want to do? I am going to. We ain't coming back home this way. Do way across. 60 feet. On it? Give me a tap. On it, yeah. Is it just one target? Yeah. Oh, let me look it up. Yeah, one just target. Just one? Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's natural 20? Yeah. Okay. Froze that beast. Um, give me a damage. I won't make you pay for damage. It's gonna be twenty-five. I won't make you pay for damage, but twenty-five. Okay. Um. Ray Frost. Pure coal, right? Mm-hmm. She's underneath, almost connected to it. Mm. No, I'm plus five. 
I'm, I'm sorry, plus four because my charisma because of okay, the gotcha, fact that it's cold. Gotcha. So actually, twenty-nine. Gotcha. Ouch. Okay. Mario, you take five points of cold damage yeah. just from uh, the contact of it. Other way. Okay. I apologize for that. How many? Five. Okay. Totally just as okay. you feel this chill. I'll make it. A, yeah. Okay. Your turn. You done? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll fly a little more forward right. that way. She's getting off the bridge saying, peace, guys. Y'all going down. Oh, right. You all I'm on your own. You. Okay. Yeah, it's it's going to stand up. Darn it. As it gets up. Because it's so the tremor's even more happy as this energy is just starting to eat away at this stone. Pieces of it just starting to miss in different areas. It's going to attempt a disadvantage. It knew something was laying beneath it. It's going to try. To stone. Natural turn. Oh, no. As it takes his foot and just... <laughs> no, I'm wrong. Disadvantage. You're not hit. Oh, he's I can roll one. two natural 20s. He's one. Right. His foot comes down, but when it comes down, it breaks a piece of the bridge off now. Right. Where this whole part is now starting to separate right. that you're laying on. All right. That's its turn. Get up. Car, get up. I'm going to get up. Can we run? Okay. We don't need this guy. He'll fall when the bridge car Let's just get past him. Um, he's still blind? Yes. Uh, y'all, we need to run. Yeah, let's make a bridge car. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to carefully move around him and book. Okay. Get some option. Quietly. Well, you can dash. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're out that way. You see Carrie running towards you. Um, Rufus and Ron, uh, the bridge now in front of you mm-hmm. begins to break away. Right, I'm, I'm going to take my move and just try to travel as far as I can. Yep. You can dash. How far can I get? We can get all the way right to about here. Okay. Right about there. Okay. Just breaking apart. Rufus, top around. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Dash him. Okay, and Leah, what do you want? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna try and dash and get around dash. him as well and get the heck out of there. She should be able to get in front of me. Yeah. I'm still doing okay. As you're beginning to run, Leah? Yeah. Oh, the bridge right here in front of you just collapses. The stone uh. breaks away. I need a just an acrobatics. Can me and Rowan help somehow? I don't know, I was looking, I have a chain. Can, help. can we notice that, like, that, that it's falling? In? I used my grappling hook already. I lost that. That's gone, yeah. yeah. 17. 17. Across that. You jump across it as it, you can just see below you, this rock falling. Dude, you land your footing right in front of them. Okay, it is now Oriana. What do you want to do? You see them all right towards you? Hey, so um, now there's, a, there's a, at least a hole between us and the, the stone man. So mm-hmm. she sees all of us running. I'm just looking at you. Oh, this front of the bridge is breaking. You got a bridge? Can you make us an ice bridge? I got it. No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do uh, that. Either that or aim for that weak spot in the bridge now. Well, I mean, yeah. there's already a hole there. He can't get past us. I don't know. He could jump. He leaked once. I don't want to see him jump across a hole that I think is too big. And then he's like, oh. uh, I'm the Jordan of Stone Giant. Fireball, 150 feet. Give me the roll. Yeah. Awesome. Each creature within a 20 foot radius, they're fine, correct? Yep. Yeah, just put it basically like on him and we'll be alright. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just to push so, him back. Do I roll or do you roll time? Uh, I don't know. I have only been once. No, I think you got to save on it. I do. Dexterity save. Yeah. Heaps dexterity save. Yeah. Yeah, dexterity. Yeah. What's your spell save? He made a five. Oh, so you yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah. Give me a damage. It is 8d6. Uh, 8d6. Okay. As you guys are doing that, yeah. I need. The blockbuster dexterity saving throws from everybody, everybody's good. except you or uh, or yeah. I need dex, you give me a damage where okay. I need dexterity saving throws. Okay. Oh, no. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's all of them. What? Oh, all right, 15. Right. All right, six, eight, 11. Nine, 11. 11. And we're at 17, I know. 22. 26 and 28. Okay. Really? Oh, we are. So, oh, wait, plus 5. That's fine. 20 plus 5. 33. 33. Boom. So you blast with this fire. Oriana, as you're doing this, you watch as this whole bridge just goes down. You see him as he's on fire just fall. Um, with this, this smoke of all this dust and this 
stone in the fire. You watch as Rufus and Rowan make it through. Oh my God, thank God. You wait for a moment as you guys kind of turn around and look, and there's no Leo, and there is no Curry. Leo, my turn. Smoke. Leo, yeah. You are now Curry. free falling? Um. So are you, as you watch. Oh, and you're looking down, and first of all, you see this huge river that sits beneath you. Um, the big one? Yeah. You see a, it has not been two full days yet, a big one, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, Wait a when second. Did we, when did we use the big one? We used you it. Use the big before. one, you never slept. You never rested in the town. You did your town thing when you immediately went into the thing. Right. That's the uh, you got about a day left. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Can okay. I try and count? It's my turn. Hold well, on. it's not even an issue now. Whatever okay. you guys can do together. Oh, because never you're mind. Yeah, um, can I reach her? To grab her? Free falling? With, can I'm going to tell you, give me like an acrobatic That's kind fine. of moment yourself with the air and try to get to her. Can I use the harp? Can I pull out the harp and use it because I can fly if I'm playing that harp? It says so. Well, I can try to strum this thing. So. Here, free falling. Um, yes, I will. Here, I'm gonna give try you both it. chances with acrobatics. <laughs> yeah, give me an acrobatics roll, both of you. You're trying to reach to her. She's trying to get this. Okay, good. Oh, uh, good one. Uh, acrobatics. Oh, I was supposed to do some kind of saving throw when I was doing that, and I missed what it was because no, I was. Oh, no, you weren't. Oh, I was supposed to do it. Yeah. Yeah, and I oh, failed. Oh, no. Oh, and then you said everybody here has except a good one. Except you. I said except oh, you. Oh, okay, except me. Okay. Because you, you can't. 19. 19. Yeah. Your feet are on the ground. Okay. So. What? Like, you manage to, as you're falling, it's, I mean, you guys are just, and as you're looking down, you see these huge creatures uh, kind of looking up to this large river. You, Baltar, you begin to fly. You manage to grab a hold of her leg. Now, all right, going I, on to her because she's <laughs> trying to fly. While here. she's trying to fly, I'm also going to cast Entangle back at the bridge uh, and try and bring vines down to us. There's nothing left, I thought. Well, along the sides here, you got to side whatever the dirt, the yeah. Yeah. all this green stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Make a roll for it. All right, so vines start coming yeah. towards you guys. I need a strength check for me. Oh, Jesus. Or uh, oh. athletics well, can help. They're, 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 I'll help her because I'm with her. Yep, you have advantage okay. on it. Advantage. So 220s, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Roll good. Hey, at least one. <laughs> at least oh, you one said one advantage or? Yeah, less 220, so you get the higher one. 14. And I don't have any strength times it. You're do do? struggling. Struggling. But you manage to make it towards your spine. You grab onto his spine as you guys both kind of get there. You pull yourself up to where you see them come up on this side Ooh. of it. The bridge completely gone. No sign of that dude. Gone. He fell through with it. Gone and washed away. Oh, he how fell much through time with it. Have left? Oh, oh we, we were out. Yeah, that was why we. we That's why you were out. out. That's, That's why, why the bridge the went. Explosion blockbuster uh -huh. scene just occurred. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you guys make it to the other side. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you guys are here. I'm so sorry. Up yeah. the bridge. Feels feels good to uh, still be alive. As you all look downwards, you can see this chunks of this gone. stone floating in this river downwards. It's true. At one point, you swear you see his head kind of come up from the back under as it's just taken in this current. Oh, damn. Um. This noise also brought a lot of these creatures about as you see one that you've already tangled with. Although this one didn't seem to have the same kind of rotting flesh appearance as it just kind of looks up and just lets out this roar towards you guys. That was down below? Yep. Down 100 feet below, roughly. <laughs> so we can't. I'm going to return the roar. But you guys are all on level ground now. <laughs> it's just this huge gap. So what do you guys want to do? Oh, God. Uh, so what, what's going on over here? Are there like oh, creatures? Are there monkeys? Are there anything? Well, give me like... a perception check. Yeah. Let's get one of those. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that too. Take a good look around. Maybe we can rest a little bit. Yeah, that was my plan. 16. A lot. 13. 26. Yeah. 26, okay. Um. No, you, you, it just looks, you, you find a small trail that seems to have looked like it's been uh, maybe chopped before people moving through this. Uh, basically, I, normal creatures, birds are flying across, no feeling of danger. Uh, as you kind of stand now, ready to enter this very thick jungle. Uh, as you look at it, there's just trees. And, um, you do happen to look up 
and you see this flying creature that seems to go over your guys' heads heading south. And then about a minute later, you see another one of these large flying creatures that kind of flies by. Can I determine what said flying creature is? Uh, just give me a straight uh, history check. No, give me animal handling. Okay. Okay. You proficient? Yeah. Okay. And plus a lot. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Um, 23 plus 4 is 27. 27? From what you've never encountered one yourself, but these are like a smaller dragon. Oh. Um, from what you know about them, they're predators to survive, um, okay. or if threatened. Uh, they're also very uh, it's about their flying space. You know, getting too close to these things, too, they're very reactionary. Okay. So we need to stay on the ground and kind of undercover. Okay, so undercover of a jungle. Uh, so there's not a lot of danger where we're at right now. We could take a take a rest, a long yes. rest. Yes. Okay. You guys uh, kind of want to camp out there. Here's what I need you guys to do too. I need you all to subtract three rations. <coughs> that would be in total of what you've consumed over the last day and a half. All right, that's good. Ten rations. While we're um, hanging out and resting, I just kind of want to forage around us for my spell components since I forage for those. Okay, give me some. Yep. So, uh, oh. Uh, 16. 16. Yeah, you should find enough to hold you over a little bit. Okay. I don't, you, you need, know, it's kind of, don't need much. You know, it's the kind of things you're normally looking for a little bit rare, but you find it. You find okay. enough. Anything else you guys want to do during your rest? Uh, can I grab some of the vines that they used to climb back up on and try to like, weave them together and make a rope? Yes. Give me a deck check. Mm-hmm. And I need to get my kiln thing going and melt down some of those swords that I jacked. Okay. For ammunition casings. Okay. So just give me um, a deck check. 3d20s. What are you, you trying to make? 18. I was trying you, to make you, a rope. You easily make a rope. Yeah. You make section about 25 feet long. You're able to uh, put together so this is Dex check. And what are you, what are you trying to make? Oh, uh, well, make? just a batch. Of kind of a batch, ones. yeah. Okay. Or more, more, it's, you know, filling them. Right. The casings I'll just collect off the right. field. Looks like we've got, with dexterity? Yep. Uh, we got a 15, an 18, and 14. Okay. Um, so you manage to make roughly six bullets for the pistol okay for your musket you make enough uh it's two shots right uh the musket's only one shot one yeah. shot um uh, okay. you so manage to make five of those okay and then the scatter gun and the scatter guns too there's two loads uh with that I already had come up a little short with it you manage to pull off three three more loads for that okay okay so you guys rest yep you eat. Um, now, by this time, we're pushing. We've already kind of did things through the night. So, uh, yeah, you guys, sun's starting to rise at this point. Uh, you notice immediately uh, the heavy rain is what wakes you up. As you guys are sleeping, you're just getting pounded with this rain. Uh, as you stand up, look around, even the sky just seems pitch black as this rain just hits you. The path to the jungle um, awaits. Uh, Head on out. Yeah, let's pack up our stuff and head into the jungle. jungle. Mm -hmm. So you guys start moving through it. Um, I'm not gonna fly through the jungle. Okay. Uh, You um, as you're going through, you notice these very um, uh, large, uh, broadleaf type of trees are helping with some of the rain. Um, as it continues to pound down, it's also very warm. Uh, the ground begins to soak in as you walk through it, um, causing more difficulty as you're moving along. Um, you see, once in a while, crossing small streams. Uh, occasionally, monkeys that seem not to want to laugh at you, but more just in their habitat. Uh, 
You also come across one area where it's a small opening where you come out and you see this very large creature, very long neck, kind of just feasting off these leaves. Doesn't seem to pay much mind to you as you continue to move onward. Um, I need everybody to give me a constitution saving throw. Everybody's doing pretty good keeping up. Rowan, you just start to feel a little tired. Yeah. A little Snapped. worn out. Um, leg cramping a little bit. You've been moving around for about almost six hours. Are we there yet, guys? Um, um, yet. So you are at a level of exhaustion. Level one? So, yep. Okay. Do something? I was going to suggest another rest. Because this... Holy armor is getting itchy. Yeah. So, is there like tree cover? Is there any caves? Why don't you give me a perception? Sixteen. Sixteen. Ooh. As you're looking around, you do spot what appears to be. Um, an encampment of some sort that's nobody there as you kind of walk in it across maybe 15 feet from you you see a body laying there uh, looks to be somewhat decomposed uh, roughly 10 feet away from that you see another body um, laying there seem to be human um, again decomposed uh, Gonna walk up and poke him. Okay, um, you got some flesh there still there. The first thing you kind of notice as you poke him and you both are kind of standing there is you see they're wearing this uh, necklace. Um, it's like a diamond shaped necklace, and in the middle of it looks to be a carving of a tree. Uh, both of these corpses are wearing the same thing um, simple clothing. Um, you do notice where the one's laying his hands open. Maybe less than a foot from it is a dagger that seems to have some traces of blood on it. Um, that's as much you can gather without doing a little deeper I look at this. I want to take the medallions. Can we do an investigation? Yeah. In fact, uh, give me medicine. Alrighty. All of us are. If whoever wants to do it. Two. Okay. Yeah, 22. You all kind of look at it together, and what you find is uh, just from some of the bone that's exposed, and then with some of the remainder of this rotting flesh, you can see that both of these victims appear to have their throat slashed so hard that it actually almost cut all the way down to the bone, where you can see the, the cut mark across the bone. Um, Does it look like a ritualistic or like violent? If they cut that deep, it's violence. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just a murder. Um, kind of throws you off just to see this here. Uh, the necklace. I need a wisdom check from you. Ten. Ten. Um, when you first look at this, you feel like you've seen this before. And as you kind of look at it, you go... You remember in the original port, uh, this guy just spoke to you very briefly, a guide that takes them through these jungles. This is the exact necklace they were wearing, right, almost as if it's back. a symbol for guides. Uh, you also notice uh, that wherever you'd hold a pouch, it looks like it's been torn from their clothing. Uh, you find some gold pieces kind of scattered around. That's is there, do they have tents up? Uh, the, it or looks like they were doing makeshift, rolls. almost taking, there's some wet bedrolls that are in a makeshift tent type thing that has now kind of collapsed a little bit. Got it. But it is an opening, it um, it obviously is used for a campsite at one point. Um, I'm going to rely on my Outlander skills and start checking the tracks on the ground. What are you looking for specifically? Uh, 
directionality of whoever did this. Give me a, a check at disadvantage. Okay, because it's raining. Yeah, and it's like um, I said, these bodies are decomposed too. So. What are we doing? Um, perception? Yeah. All right. No, actually, give me survival. That's tracking. Oh, I'll still get that. Whoop! Nine, ten, fourteen. Is you kind of push through it, but the ground's just been, it's, yeah, it's through all the rain, and all right. uh, it's been a while since, obviously, this yeah. camp was there. Uh, so you guys do find that. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to take the dagger? No. 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 I, I want to. No. I want to dig want because it? I can't uh, anyway. Great. So Actually, you... not. Yeah, no, I'm not going to burn the bodies. I want Short to swords are longer for me. Keep on going. So you bury the bodies. <laughs> okay. So you guys bury them up. Uh, you continue to move? Yeah. Okay. Um, I no or do you want to camp there, or do you want to? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, oh, camp I where don't. they've already been killed. Let's, let's not. Okay. Let's move on a little bit. You guys push about another two hours on where you do find a place where it would be suitable. Um, okay. A small, very small cave. Uh, enough of a overhang that shields you from the rain. Uh, where you could possibly start a fire and rest. And stuff okay. Like that. Cool. Let's do that. So you guys rest again? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, full rest? Yep. Yeah, so everybody's back up. Okay, so I want to take this time to strip off the damaged, burned armor, okay, and get back into my just plain. Uh, Do you have a hat on me? Do I? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, ride with him. I'll um, <laughs> I'll rest under his hat from the rain. Under my hat. Like a. Yeah, like a little oh, right, so yeah. if I take my hat off. Uh-huh, yeah, like if you oh, took it off, yeah. So you're asking me to take yeah. my hat off, and you can have Rufus, a little can house. Rufus, can you take off your hat? Okay. Um, so but I'm going to strip down back to my just soft <laughs> suede. Okay. Um, sure I need thing, to know right. how to figure armor class with no armor. Armor class with no armor, uh, armor is 10 plus your dexterity. 10 plus my dex. So I'm going to get rid of that. Puts me at 11. And 13. Okay. No, and guys... I'm just going to leave the damaged armor behind. Okay. Um, you guys um, rest. You see as the rain begins to um, stop. Um, at this point, it's very hot and muggy. Um, you look outside your cave to this large jungle area. Um, I need... Everybody give me perception checks. That's 20, it's not natural. Okay. 18. Okay. 18. Natural 20? I don't think they did. So as you all are kind of standing at the, well, basically the exit area of this cave, <laughs> looking out, you look in front and you see this, what it looks like floating snakes. What? Four of them. Had to peer up above this. This um, I pick it and it vanish down, but then you also hear a growl. We're looking for witches, right? Yeah, uh, you're heading towards <laughs> Curse Ball. Yeah, you see it again. So now it seems to be moving towards your direction. Where and then the snakes kind of just go under it. Oh no, you hear this growl again. Snakes. Right for us? Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of weaving in the thickets in front of you. We'll go back in the cave and hide until it goes past. So you can back up, up to the cave? Yeah. Give me a stealth. I'm going to prepare 26 flaming sphere okay. and hold it until I see the beast make its okay. face shown. So, we're gonna call this little cave right here. Goes out into it. That's right here. I wanna stand right out in front of everybody else to protect them. As now, you see kind of exiting this, where the things are kind of coming out into more of the path area. This thing, it looks almost like a leopard. But as it kind of walks out and looks, you see it has these four snakes. Kind of come off from his head, building up in different areas. 
do so. Doesn't seem to know exactly where you're at as it's kind of making its way across that area. Oh, son of a bitch. It's just working. I do. So can I see it now? Mm -hmm. I'm going to release the spell and attack. Attack it? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. It's going to be an issue then. Okay. Unless you guys want to keep. No, no, because you want to do it now. Okay. I'll keep the order. Okay, keep the order. Oh. We'll start with you. Uh, since Can you're taking in? the first act. Yeah. No, here's how I we'll do it. Do wanna... We're going to keep everybody the same order, but okay. since you're go ahead and taking that to attack. Okay. We'll get the first spot. We'll put you at the first spot. Okay. All right, so give me the. Uh... All right. Uh, right in front of it. Mm hmm. As it's walking, I want to follow, kind of track its trajectory and toss this spell directly in front of it so it'll step into it. It's a five foot diameter sphere of fire. Okay. As so long as a creature check. ends its turn within five feet of the sphere, it must make a deck saving throw. Okay. Got a barrier wall up now. Fire. Oh, uh, six. The roll total. <laughs> <laughs> Two to six. Uh, and seven is twelve. Oh. Twelve points of damage. Okay. And I can move this as I need to. So you light this thing up. Because now it looks like you just done pissed it off. Yep. As it rails and it's in the heads and actually gets onto his two hind legs as these snake heads kind of whip around now. And look in your direction. Uh Rufus, you're up if you want to do something this time. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't Scare. skip my turn. No, no. Scare. So this time. Yes, okay, I'll shoot him. <laughs> As usual. Okay, <laughs> shot. As usual. Uh, so I'm going to load up the musket, and I will push it a little past its thing with the grip point. Shoot. Okay. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, give me a damage. So, we need to get these was devil. snakes oh, it's four to off the leopard. <laughs> four to <laughs> well, the leopard. Oh, man. That's so that's okay. So that's eight. Leopard. And then uh, ten. So 18 plus five. So 23. 23. The leopard type thing. Okay. So, you take your Still shot. And you just watch as. This thing just takes it right into its side. It is fire engulfing it, and you just, it just, it just collapses. It, uh, from what you can gather, it must be some kind of predatory animal around here. But it just goes, man. Poof. And down. Shall we? Yeah, let's move on. Yeah. Let's continue on. So, you guys spend another six to eight hours traveling. Shit, we killed it? I blew it. Yeah. All right. You shot him and that was it. Not seeing much of anything. Again, through the openness of the trees, once in a while you see this these creatures kind of fly by. Um, otherwise, all is calm. It begins to lightly rain again, uh, but not, nothing real heavy. As you guys make yourself further south, all at once as you're walking, you watch as the trees start fluttering to your west. And you see... All these lizard creatures hop, maybe about yay tall, mm -hmm. all begin running past you and letting out these weird yells out to each other as they're all running, running through, pushing through the trees. All at once you see what you've seen before, one of these zombie looking things. Just chase it as they're running, you see them kind of lean down, bite one up, swallow it, all running past you. As one of these lizards run past you, just looks and goes, won't live. Follow me. Because he just starts taking off. And these things are running. You watch some that are throwing, trying to throw spears at it. And this thing is just clawing and biting him and just coming at you. At this point, maybe 30 feet from you. Should we trust him? Follow? Make a lizard friend? Yeah. Might okay, as well. well. How, tall, how tall are the lizard guys? Like three feet? No. Yeah, in situations like this, feet? this is a good enough sign, is it? Yeah, you notice they all, true. you start running with them as this, and you look behind you as some are stopping trying to throw spears, We're talking in these weird clicks and high imitations, mm -hmm. as this, this beast is just slaughtering them. Can, you guys, 
Can I fall to the back, pull out the trident that I stole from somebody, right. and uh, chuck it at him? If you want. Yeah. Give me a quick tackle, yep. I'm assuming you guys keep moving? Yeah. Yep. Moving. As this one kind of stops again. Three. <laughs> I just threw a trident away. <laughs> oh, it just bats it away. I don't want it anyway. <laughs> As this thing is coming, you see in front of them. You guys, you see in front of you, a uh, cave. Uh, well, sits maybe five feet in total height. As they all start swarming into there. And the other one, and he kind of jumps in there. I guess I don't want to run fast. Just I'll go in fast in the car, last uh, and tangle. So you guys all jump in. And as well, you jump in, you got to be like all in really low. As you slide into this cave. I'm taller than five feet, so <laughs> it sucks yeah. right now. Oh, yeah, you guys are all kind of really down tall. like this as you're trying to stand up. But as you look at it, he's kind of standing and looking at you. Hold a spear, and behind him, you see where this cave opens up into this vast, ah, almost cool. looks like a underground city of some sort. Ooh. And that is where we will end tonight's game. Cool. Woo. Crazy. Woo. All right. Shit.